Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I will be bringing you behind the scenes, so to speak, to one of my setups. I'll try to record as much as I can, but for today's event is actually gonna be a corporate setup. And basically it's simple and you may think it's simple, but it's never simple. <laughs> We're making two big um, columns balloon columns and two small centerpieces. So um, let me show you what I have. It's not behind here. Uh, this is all their setups, you guys. Look at all my mess. Anyways, but what I wanna show you guys is really uh, what I have already um, set. So let me bring you here. So this is what I will be bringing, this whole thing. And as you can see, I bagged them so they, somewhat are protected but the columns are already like halfway made and you'll see them and these are my um my emt pipes that i'm using for my stand i'm bringing extra balloons here to build my um tower and i have some big balloons here and some foil balloons in there for my centerpiece so let me also bring you back to show you my um, my basis for my stand. I made them myself. I watch plenty of videos on YouTube on how to do them. And um, I will recommend a few things to you guys, but let me show you quickly um, the stands that I will be using. Okay, you guys, so right now you're in my garage and I put all my stuff in here. I need to start packing my car. But let me move my backpack out of the way. So these, you guys, are the stands. Look at how cool these are. Um, so basically what I did, this is made out of um, plywood. It's a two by two plywood. And I have this uh, flange here with a, um, what do you call it? Um, a metal pipe, so to speak. And I will be using some of my weights to put in the middle to weight it down and it doesn't go anywhere. And I have two of them because I am doing two columns all together. Um, you guys, so I painted these things. If you really look in the back of this, this is what the color is, but this would be what you will be looking at. And from far, I also painted the sides. So um, you can paint them black, white, whatever color you want, but these are, I wouldn't say they're so easy to make. They are on the harder side, but these type of columns, I would definitely um, get them back because you know it's part of a rental. And, um, and you can see actually the paint and everything I used this weekend to get them set for this week's event. So, okay, you guys, so don't mind behind me, it's my garage. Um, but anyway, so as I was saying, I built those stands and they, I did a test, a test drive on how, what the look will be and they look pretty sturdy. Um, I have my backpack, my ladder, my weights, my balloons. Now you don't have to bring them all semi build up to the place that you're setting up. You can just put them in a bag and do that as well. The reason why I'm having them somewhat build is because I'm creating this um, almost like a Roman type of column. So it's not one spiral column and that's it, call it a day. It's different sizes. It's almost like a puzzle piece where I have to play with how the balloons are gonna be set on the column. And I don't wanna take too much time uh, figuring that out at the event. So I just wanna, as much as I can prep, I will. And that's what I'm doing. So um, that's it, you guys. I'll bring you to the place. The colors are black, red, and white. And today seems to be a beautiful weather. So, um, and the reason why I'm saying this, because as you guys know, you know, the weather sometimes is your worst enemy <laughs> when it comes down to balloons. It will be outdoors and I do have black. That's the one thing I have to say. One tip for the day is um, I use the less amount of black that I could in my piece. I do have red and white, 
but I try to stick more to the red and whites because it's a lighter color, especially for outside. Uh, if I would have put too much black, I don't want my balloons to pop. So that's one. And, um, and hopefully, I don't know, it seems cloudy out. So it's not direct sun and it's about, I would say 79 degrees, which is still warm, but perfect. It's not blazing hot where the balloons can expand and explode. So um, hopefully I can record a little bit of uh, my setup over there, but I don't know you guys, when I'm on, in the zone, you know me, <laughs> I tend to forget to record. So, um, but I wanted to show you some of the stuff that I'm bringing. And like I said, it's two quick, simple columns, but nothing is ever simple because just the setup alone is tricky. And then the drive over there is, you know, a little, far. it's like, I would say like 34 minutes just to get there. So you got to account for time. That's why I had them pre-made. I don't want to spend too much time setting up. And then before you know it, I'm back at five o'clock at night. So um, that said, hopefully you guys enjoy these type of videos. Hi guys okay so let me um touch bases on the setup that i did this weekend um so as you guys saw in the video i told you a little bit about um what i was bringing to the place so let me just say this i got to the place and um it was a little on the cloudy side it was still hot and humid but it was not like blazing hot like um I would say it was about like maybe like a good 79 degrees and um, it worked in my favor actually the weather this time um, when I put my display together I purposely didn't want to use too much black only because black as I mentioned before in plenty of videos they attract the sun and the heat making the balloons expand and in turn they pop so um so i got to the place i had them already pre-made which saved me a ton of time and trying to figure out the design was it was a good thing i did it at home um you could just bring all the materials and build it at the place if you choose but the columns that i had as you saw in the video they were not just your average spiral columns they were more like a um what do you call it like a a specialty column so you know i was going flat 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 spiral then flat flat um the, the one thing that i have to say that i was a little like uh not regretting but taking back a little bit maybe my statement balloon could have been a lot bigger but i was discussing with my husband about you know the perception that people have so the image that uh, my client um, gave me first was an image of two columns that were um, displayed in front of a um, storefront at the mall. So it's indoors and you can see the picture, the columns appear a lot bigger. They're the same size as mine actually, but they appear a lot bigger because you put it against a smaller door frame right in my case i had to install install mine outside and i had to put them in front of a big warehouse so the craziest thing is like when she hired me she showed me the picture she talked about a business it was going to be outdoors in a parking lot in the building 
so I figure, okay, they're going to be at the entrance of the building, somewhat like that, maybe in front of a tent, right? Never in a million years <laughs> I was going to guess that it was in front of a warehouse. The warehouse was huge. I mean, these loading docks were huge. And it's like, it made my, you know, my columns look tiny and puny. And it was like... <laughs> It still looked good, don't get me wrong. It's still like the red popped, the black and the white, they just draw your eye to the main focus. And it was great, you know, it was a really good setup in general. But if I would have planned the whole thing and I would have done it differently, I probably would have done that each loading dock had its own column to make it appear like it was like a full big display and you know come to realize you guys i want to touch bases with you because you are going to have clients that don't know what they want or they may not realize the um you know their space around it if they can have they can give you pictures and have you decide on the design but keep it in mind of the budget that would have been a lot better because I probably would have done a total different setup, you guys. I probably would have done more like a vine garland, so to speak, just to make the whole concept appear differently. And if they had to stick to columns no matter what, I probably would have put a lot more columns than just two. Only because space-wise, like the perspective, how you saw them, while you were at the place, you were like, oh, wow, that's a great you know display you're still shocked as balloons they're just fun right but looking back and pictures and stuff you can see like this is a massive warehouse it's not like you know it's not like an entrance of a storefront like so i think you know maybe it would have been better planning on their part but then again you know the wife contacted me it was for the husband's um job and they've seen my work before they've used me a couple times this is like a repeated customer which i love their family they're so great and um you know but the other thing is this was like a warehouse reveal so i guess they don't want to go all big for that they will be having their grand opening and as i was setting up the balloons um the husband which is i guess the head of the project management group for the company was uh telling me how they're gonna do this big like grand opening and they're probably gonna use me again you know to decorate the inside of the warehouse which is a huge space well now i have an idea and i know exactly space wise so i may be able to sell him on something differently that will make a huge wow factor um, keeping in mind of their budget because I guess every company has a set budget so you know to try to fit in a, a nice design that will um, you know serve their budget will be great but um, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of that background story because you know you don't think sometimes they send you pictures and the customer wants to imitate that and you have to sell whatever they want really right whatever they choose you can have some input but at the end of the day they're the ones paying the bill not you um and uh, you know i wish it would have been a lot bigger keep in mind to me two columns it took over my whole entire car so <laughs> but I would have done it differently um, as far as setup for the visual look. But all in all, I was so happy with um, how it came out. I probably would have done a little things different. I probably would have bought a bigger topper balloon just because the scale of like the warehouse behind it versus what I had, it just made them look smaller, even though they weren't. So, you know, something to think about. And if you can try to get as many pictures, as many details from your, from your clients, that is a good thing. Um, better for you and for them. The other last thing that I'm gonna leave you with this, guys, is if you are doing this as a business and you start working with big corporates and you know bigger companies, they're going to want to um, 
for you to itemize every little thing in there because they have to come up with the budget and say this is delivery this is you know installation this is the fee for this this is the fee for that this is taxes all this other stuff just be sure that you have all your ducks in a row when you do contracts with uh, bigger companies because you know now you're dealing with corporate you're not dealing with a backyard party so you want to make sure that you establish all your policies your contracts all of that in there and they will be asking you for an itemized invoice um, most of the time for my regular customers they wire me the money and I'll send them a receipt and in the receipt I spell out everything uh, with this corporate they expect an invoice they pay it and then a receipt so it's an extra step but it's always good for you to have all that already ironed out you know um so that's that you guys i hope you enjoyed these type of videos i know it's a little quick it only gives you a glimpse but with every video i share my experience and what should i what could have i've done differently versus other things something to remember um i know i touch a lot of bases on weather 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 um now it's corporate there's a lot of contracts involved you know oh and one last thing even though the weather this time were perfect for me um i did give my client the option at that moment i said listen i can make the balloons shine and make it very nice and shiny but that's pretty much like frying an egg because the weather is still no matter what they're still going to expand if there's sun because that cloud moves you have the risk that they don't pop you know so those type of things is good to to let them know i can make them look shinier if you want but you run the risk of popping the balloons i will leave it alone and they still look good and then the last thing was my um my stands i wasn't going to go back and get them they are rentals so i gave it about two three days for them to bring them back to me i explained to him they're easy you just pull them apart and uh, once you're done with the balloons you know where i live just drop off my rentals and that's about it um you could go get them if you're gonna have to go to the place and get them just make sure you charge for the cleanup fee um you know uh just like you install you also do the cleanup so i wasn't gonna go see to me it was almost like a almost like a 35 to 40 minute drive to do just that so it didn't make sense for me to go back and they didn't want to get charged so if he's going to come back home to where i live he was going to bring them in so that's how we left off for all of you guys that have like questions about what do you do with your things do you leave it up for them no i have two big weights um that i use and also my two um stands so he is dropping them off to me um but yeah that's that's that all right you guys until the next video don't forget to hit that like subscribe button hit the little bell so when i put any type of videos tutorials experience videos about this balloon business you get an alert and you get to watch it so um i'll see you guys bye bye